With Football Manager 24 set to release on the 6th of November, we could be less than a month away from the beta version of the game drop-in. Which means if you've pre-ordered and you're going to be playing the beta version, you're going to be thinking about what team to go for first. Some people go for the team they support, others go for the big teams. So your Arsenal's, your Man United, your Man City's, your Chelsea's, your Barcelona's, Real Madrid's, PSG, that sort of thing, you know. Go for the big teams and see how the game works. Because basically the beta version of the game is... To get yourself integrated with it, to get used to any new additions, to get used to the new features, to see how it plays, to see any improvements to the game and stuff. And what you want to do really is you want to go to one of the big sides who can spend a bit of money who are in all the competitions. And yeah, basically spend a couple of weeks before the full game releases just getting used to it. And then when the full game releases you can go to do your challenges and your non-league to legends and this, that and the other. But... Here are my free picks for the best FM24 beta saves. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and to a video looking at my free top picks for which teams to manage when the FM24 beta drops, which will be very soon because the game is released on the 6th of November and the beta usually drops around about two weeks earlier than that, so you're looking at around about the 23rd of October, which means we could be less than a month away. Exciting times. Anyway... In order to get access to the beta version, you must pre-order the game from a Sports Interactive approved provider or supplier or whatever you want to call them. So most people go to Steam or to Epic Games or whatever. But if you go to Fanatical and use the code in the description below, you will, you will get 18% off of the game. It's a price of £36.89 and... and you will help out the channel because I will get a little bit of it due to being an affiliate. There are several other affiliates out there in the Football Manager community. Most of them are the big content creators and they can offer you a little bit more discount as well because they all have an extra little bit. So you'll get the game for like £35. So if you order through my link, you will be paying £1 something more than if you order through someone else's. But you will be helping me out. Those bigger content creators don't need the money. They've already got loads. Help out the smaller ones. Help out me. Um, and pre-order through my link in the description below. But anyway, without further ado, let's go and look at the three teams I think you should manage in the FM24 beta. The first pick is a pretty obvious one, to be fair. Newcastle United Football Club and the reasons are pretty simple. They're rich and you're going to get to spend a lot of money. Um, part of a beta save is to learn the new features of the game, how the transfer market works, if there's been changes, to enjoy the new match engine if there is one or any changes to it and stuff like that. So you normally pick a team with a lot of money and Newcastle have got a lot of money. And also it isn't picking like the best team in the Premier League. You're not picking Man City or, or Arsenal or whatever or Liverpool. You're picking Newcastle who are someone that you're looking to then try and overtake those top teams with, and you get plenty of money to do it. Plus, they're in the Champions League, so you get the Champions League straight from the off. Um, and basically, they're just a good all-round team to get started with in the beta. You'll get to spend lots of money and enjoy the first couple of seasons in the first couple of weeks of the game's release. But... If this updated database on FM23 is anything to go by, and if FM24 is anything similar to this, you're going to have a little bit of squad trimming to do before you get underway with Newcastle, because look at the size of this squad. Like, there are so many players there. I know you've got a few out on loan and stuff, but you've got five goalkeepers. You're not going to need five goalkeepers. So, you're going to get to, you're possibly, or probably, going to get to see what the new updates to the transfer market or the transfer system are as well because you're going to need to get rid of some players so there may be some of that using the intermediaries to get rid of some of the players who don't want to leave so all in all Newcastle is an ideal choice for the beta save you'll get to spend a lot of money you'll get to see the Champions League you'll get to see the new match engine at the highest level of football and also, you'll get to get rid of some fringe players and players who may not want to leave. So you'll get to see the improvements to the transfer system and selling players and stuff. You'll get to have the chats with the agents, use the intermediaries and things like that. So basically, Newcastle are the ideal choice for the beta save. My second choice for the FM24 beta save is Marseille. Because not only are they got 
a solid team. Uh, they're ambitious, they're professional. They're in the Champions League qualifiers, so you'll play your first couple of games, maybe friendlies or whatever, and then you'll jump straight into the Champions League qualifiers. They didn't make the Champions League in real life, so you can do better than the real life team straight away. And also, the challenge is there of trying to topple PSG before the full game releases. If you only play the beta save and then change your save for the full game, which I do. Some people don't. They play the beta all the way through. But if you only play the beta for a couple of weeks until the full game releases, then you've got a couple of weeks to make Marseille the best team in France. And to do it, you might not have a great deal of money to start with. The bank balance on this um, FM23 updated database is only 30.6 million. But in FM24, you might have a little bit of actual money to spend. Remember, this is only an updated database, so it's not going to be exactly how the, the game is when the beta releases, but it gives a little bit of an idea. You do have a fantastic squad, though. New additions to the squad include, well, they don't include, they are, Renan Lodi, Jeffrey Kondogbia, Ilaman Nadai, and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. So you've got four very, very good signings to come in. Um, they've all they're all become first team regulars in Marseille squad in real in real life. So you can make them whatever you want. Bring in your own players and topple PSG before the full game releases. My third and final choice for FM24 beta save is my beta save from last year. PSV. I had a lot of fun as PSV manager last season for the beta although I ended up only putting a sit well I think one season up on YouTube because I had a bit of a cold and while I played a couple of seasons off camera I had a bit of a cold and I weren't able to record much so um the beta save was sort of ruined for me last year. I don't know if you can hear it now but I've got a bit of a cold now. Usually I get a cold sort of like mid to the end of October and it affects the release of football manager every year. This year, I've got one now, so I'm hoping I get it out of the way and when the beta drops, I can record Football Manager content for YouTube every single day. But that's a story for another month's time. Anyway, PSV, your aim will be qualify for the Champions League to start with because they're in the Champions League qualifiers, but you will also want to get back to the top of Dutch football. PSV last won the Eredivisie in 2018. Since then... Ajax have been dominant until last season when PSV failed to topple Ajax, were runners-up again, but Feyenoord become Dutch champions and, yes, kind of stole PSV's thunder and PSV remained the bridesmaid. This season, you're going to want to take PSV to the top of the Eredivisie. In real life, at, recorded, at the time of recording this, they're currently sitting top. They won the Johan Cruyff Shield, which is the equivalent of our community shield they beat final to win that and they're doing very very well they qualify for the champions league group stages and yeah they're, they're having a decent season they're having a good season and something to build upon you do have some of their best players from last season are gone i mean when i started to beat the save last year players like cody gakpo were like cody gakpo was possibly my main player in the beat the save last year he's no longer there Noni Madweka and Xavi Simons have also left the club since last season. So you're going to start without those. But you do have a good core of talented younger players. And there isn't much of a rebuild. You don't have to get rid of too many older players to get your squad age down or anything like that. You have got a very good young squad to start with. As you can see, you've got... Serginho Des, Malik Tillman, Armel Belakotchap on loan, all good youngsters and fit that sort of like that football manager thing where you've got younger players and you want to get rid of all the older players. You've only got, I mean, Patrick Van Arnold, Andre Romalo and Luke de Jong are the only players over the age of 30 and Van Arnold is on loan anyway so you can get rid of him at any sort of time. Then you've got youngsters such as Johan Bakayoko, Joey Veerman's only 23. Mauro Jr. is only 23. Armando Abispo is only 23. So you've got, a, like I said, you've got a very good core of younger players to build upon. That's the base that you can build upon 
the foundations to something amazing. And in the couple of weeks that you've got between the beta dropping and the full game releasing, you can make PSV a powerhouse in European football because you've got the foundations there. Put them back on the top of the Eredivisie and maybe even win a European trophy in that time. So there you have it. There are my three top picks for teams to manage in the FM24 beta when it drops in probably around a month's time. I usually, before I started doing the YouTube stuff, if I got the beta version, I would always manage Palace, regardless of if I had the beta or not. Palace, Crystal Palace were always my first team because that's who I support. I'd do a couple of seasons with them and see how I got on. Last year I'd done PSV. I don't really fancy doing any other English team other than Palace. So I will probably start with Marseille. I think Marseille is my pick and that's why I included them in the free that I gave in this video. But anyway, that's for another month. I might change my mind before then, but at this particular moment in time, Marseille are going to be my beta save. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to let, to let you know when there are future videos released. And also, comment below, let me know who you are going to manage in the FM24 beta, or are you not going to bother ordering it this year? If you are, remember, there's a link in the description for you to get a, a nice, decent saving and to also help out the channel, which I will be eternally grateful to anyone that does. And yeah, hopefully you are as excited as I am for the new game. Thank you very much for watching this video. Until next time, bye-bye for now.